softball. Oh, hi there. Good morning. Good morning. We're a little later than normal. We've had a lot to go on this morning. Yeah, it's just been, you know, we're still trying to that time management stuff, do yeah. things when, and this bipolar mother nature needing her meds deal with the weather is not helping at all. It was 28 this morning, y'all, 28. My fingertips were frozen and fortunately none of our hoses froze. Um, the camper was fine. The animals were fine, uh, and all my plants were fine when I went out to do chores this morning. So, uh, grateful for that. Wasn't expecting 28. Maybe it's because, I don't know, maybe we forgot to look last night at the weather. Well, in, I mean, I know it's not just our area. It seems to be that it's everywhere that the weather is just crazy. The patterns are not normal. Like, I don't know. Well, I'm not it's running. harp, y'all. It's harp. Yeah, I'm not running down those rabbit holes. But there's some legitimacy to that. I I understand that, but yeah. um yeah, it's just it's crazy, you know, like I talked to my brother that was that's still up in Michigan and you know, he had on the same day that he went out that morning to check out stuff at his pond, he was down to a t-shirt because he had just a hoodie on and it was sweating but then they were you pulled up the weather app and it was a winter weather you know Advisory. storm warning and calling for snow that evening so just craziness i mean there's obviously nothing any of us can do about it and i mean next week's forecast looks really good yeah. so i'm excited for that and uh we had something actually really really cool happen this morning on the homestead y'all she could fix that <laughs> I, I um, can but it would have to until something later yes can we tell them the good news well it's one of the good news we can't tell you the big big news but we can tell you this news oh yes way yes, before the other channel so uh y'all are getting it here first janet had her babies this morning uh we're not sure what time because we were getting worried because last night when we were closing up shop, uh, she hadn't pulled hair. There was a little like burrow, you know, in the, in the rabbit, uh, the thingy majigger, the, what do you Nesting call Nesting box? Yeah, that. Um, why was I thinking it was called something else? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, no pulling hair. And so we were really getting worried because this would have been her, are you laughing at me? It's just a small <laughs> giggle. <laughs> um... Now you made me lose track of it. Yeah, so oh. she did this last time too was she didn't pull fur. She didn't mm -mm. until like the last minute. And then her last set of kits, which was during a cold snap, she just let them go. Like she didn't put them in the she nest didn't or nothing. Pull hair really at all. Yeah. And, you know, normally a telltale of when they're about to birth is you can like pet them and you'll get a bunch of hair, you know, like a, a dog that sheds or whatever. And the rabbits will do the same thing. And she wasn't doing that. Like she, mm -hmm. we knew timeline wise that she was due to have kits, but it's just one of those that sometimes you have to wait and they want to be ornery about it. And yeah. Um, because I know that there's there's some stuff out there that if you put the nesting box in too early, which we probably did, can kind of affect it because like we use hay for them to be able to nest in. Um, it's just more comfortable. Like you know, straw is very stringy and coarse, but the hay, but they end up eating most of it instead of nesting with it. So, um, but our does have been really good about leaving enough to. Um, I, to nest but yeah so it was a it very, was her last chance uh, yeah because this would have been she didn't lift and she didn't become pregnant one time and she attacked jack multiple times drew blood on jack and we're like you know that's no good uh but fortunately when we bred her this last time she was really receptive and she lifted and we were pretty sure that she was pregnant and I thought yesterday she might be laboring uh, but still hadn't been pulling hair but I went out this morning to do chores and there was a boatload of fur in the nesting box 
And uh, so I kind of moved the nesting box a little closer and I just started to move a little bit of hair and I saw movement. And so the babies are here. We, I, I left them alone uh, as I will for probably four days. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know how many there are, but we have live active baby bunnies. So that's... You all oh, right there, Mom? I'm blowing up over here. I guess I fed him too good. Ah, uh, no such thing. Hmm. No. No. Fed too good? Mm, that's like having too much money. So you're saying I gotta raise my bar? No. Yeah. There's just there's never there's gonna be no... a bar where I fed you too good. Like that's not a thing. Like you fed me, yes, but too good, like no. Well, too good and the very best are two different things. So if it's too good but not the best, then that's the bar standard raise that I have to try yeah. to. No. That's like saying you have too much money. Oh, yeah. There's never that. Yeah, right. So. But we, we have enough. Right. Yeah. Wow. He's too serious for me this all or this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's just, it's trying to get motivation, guys. We've talked about it before. Um, the weather really drives our ambition and what we get going. Mm -hmm. And as aggravating as it is, you know, knowing that you know, hey, like yesterday, we should have been out doing a whole lot of work and we didn't. I mean, we caught up on administrative things. It was so windy. But the wind made it brutal and and it's aggravating because we want to be outside, but we're such fair weather people, <laughs> which is yeah. our own fault, you know, like we can tough it out and put on warmer clothes and... Um, but why? Yeah. But no, we do have a why because we're on a deadline for this super big project that we're working on that fell into our laps uh, that we we're not going to spill the beans on that yet. But one of the benefits to yesterday uh, not going out and it wasn't so much the cold. We can handle the cold a little bit better than the wind. It was that wind. We were under wind advisories and things were whipping everywhere. But on a good note, I utilized that time to put out another video, guys, on the main channel. And I really love this video. Y'all might not like the ending, and I'm kind of not... You're going to give it all away. You just zip <laughs> your mouth. She's got such a big mouth. I... Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Loose lips sink ships. Good thing we don't have a ship. <laughs> so we I'm are putting out... I'm going to get learned yet, folks. <laughs> We are putting out an extra bonus video for today. And we've had a lot of requests to do three videos a week on the main channel versus our two. Because they're like, oh, we got to wait too long for seeing what y'all are up to. And for the most part, during our busy season, that's not a problem. The only time three videos a week, shoot, two videos a week sometimes were difficult was when the weather is not conducive to working. And then what, and then what are we going to show you? So and we try not to film too far ahead to where we have like, say four or five videos worth yeah, of Cause we get confused of where we're at. <laughs> yeah. And, and then it makes it hard. Like what we found is, do you want me to move this? No, our legs are just not, um, it's all just straddle, is yeah. the creative flow of how each individual is, uh, video is supposed to go because we do try to change it up a little bit each video mm -hmm. and sometimes if you let that uh, footage kind of set and smolder it you lose your brain because you're already on to like three projects beyond it yeah and I think for me and the reason why we don't put a lot of uh, videos into the bank you know uh, what do they call it they call it something in the, the queue whole, in the queue yeah is because I'm a, I'm a, uh, oh, uh, I don't know what you'd call it. I like to share in my enthusiasm for things. Uh, I get excited, probably stupid excited for stupid stuff. And I want to share that with y'all. And I like to share it at the height of my excited ability. Mm -hmm. And so to be able to uh, take that excitement put that creative excitement into the videos. I feel it produces a better video on my end. Uh, whether y'all see a difference or not, I, I don't know. But to me, it makes a difference because I wanna share that with y'all right away. And if we have too many in the queue or we have footage that's you know, older than, like, like you said, like if we're onto another project, um, it's hard to be creative when your brain's already focused on another project. 
So we don't like keeping a lot of stuff in the queue. No, and um, I don't even know where I was going to go with that. Because I'm not the only one. I'm still trying to figure out what... <laughs> I know what we have to do today, but I'm trying to figure that process out. And, I know what we have to do today, too. Um, yeah, it's just been one of them mornings. I mean, we got a lot of administrative stuff done yesterday, and mm -hmm. then this morning was even some more. Um, trying to work out some details on... Uh, so, hopefully a lot of you know about the main channel, at White Rock Homestead, but... We, we started opening up memberships, and for some reason, and it's been aggravating me, and, I, and I've it looked all over, us. Yeah. Um, and I actually have an email sent in to Google to try to figure it out, is if people want to gift memberships, like we have like five levels. Well, the mm -hmm. lowest level is only 99 cents, but if you want to go gift memberships to other people, um, then it's you're gifting it at level two not level one and those are 3.99 so i'm waiting to hear back from google as to why that is i don't know if maybe yeah. maybe 99 cents is too low for gifting and we might have to but i add... wanted a 99 cent no it, right but i'm saying yeah. is maybe it's one of those that it needs to be their next level which is a dollar 99 vice the 99 cent for you to get i don't I don't know. It's frustrating because we want to make it for everybody, but of course, the powers that be like to yeah. take their. And, know, and when we're things, used so. to having, you know, we control the content, right? We we record the videos, we edit the videos, we put them out when we want to put them out, that kind mm -hmm. of stuff. So, to not be able, you know, to get immediate answers or have the control, like I've been through every setting I can find. Um, all morning long trying to see where can I adjust or where can I get an answer and when you're dealing with an organization like that where a lot's AI a lot is uh, yeah the answers are not so easily yeah. given and um, so I'm gonna give them their 24 hours that they said you know it could take for an email response and if that doesn't work then I have one other resource that we can reach out to Mm -hmm. um that might be able to get us a better answer yeah um but we'll so. figure it out i i think the only thing that would frustrate me about it like if they made us modify the memberships is you're not allowed to modify the memberships you actually have to delete the membership and create a new membership which then deletes all of your members <laughs> So there's no, yeah. there's no changing it. That's why we haven't add, added the hand of the king yet, is because I want to be able to modify it as we as we grow, uh, and so that's why we've not added it because I don't want to have to delete it. So I don't know, but anyway, that's all business stuff. Y'all don't have to worry yeah. about. They didn't come here for that. It's a new adventure, though. I mean, that's something that we're learning, guys. Like, yeah. And and that's the thing, and and surprisingly enough, even some of our mentors that we reach out to on a frequent basis they don't even have answers to the questions because it's not something that they've dealt with either like, yeah it's all so relatively yeah but it, it's still fun i mm -hmm. mean you know like i said yesterday was a bummer because the weather was down engaged his brain yet from all the computer work today no well i took, like the clapper <laughs> I took solace, and when I first retired, I went, what, no, five, six no, years see, without a computer. It didn't work. And now that we're back on one. I love your you're brain. You're a hot mess. I'm not the hot mess. You're, this This is why. Yeah. This is what we do. This is every morning, y'all. This is me just waking up, which, I mean, I've been up for a little while this morning, you know, already like three hours or whatever, but... Um, you know, when she's up for a couple hours more than me, this is how it goes where I'm still trying to figure out where my feet are and she's <laughs> like business mode because she's been shooting emails all morning long. Yeah. But love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> it's uh yeah. it's super fun and but we wanted to make sure before we got working today, guys, that we got something out to you. We mm -hmm. are appreciating and enjoying all the stories, all, all the of the comments yeah. and you know, stories that you guys are emailing us you know for personal information um you know it, it's just awesome we yeah. thank you and we're greatly appreciative we we didn't i we did a lot of commenting and i you know you did comments i've done comments but 
I can't remember if we forgot if there was any questions from the last video or not. So I don't have any um, uh, questions to answer for today. So we'll skip that. Did you, segment. did we answer the question? Remember yesterday and asked you, hey, somebody a message and was like, you hadn't answered my question. Yeah. Was her question when that, yeah. one that we answered? Yeah. That's okay. why I was like, hold on, sweetheart. It's a coming. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, it, sometimes it does get all rumble bumbled in the brain um trying to keep track of hey did we answer this did we not answer that and <laughs> we're um, learning and yeah. we love the grace what what's christine say love us through it <laughs> love us through it and because we're, we're we're just really really trying and but we're having a blast yeah like i'm i'm really having a blast with the coffee chats uh i know i need to get a cooking video out so um possibly this weekend Eric and Missy from Tilde K, they're going to come over. We're going to have an amazing time together and haven't really decided what Missy and I are going to do while the guys are doing a project. Uh, we may just sit around like and cackle like a couple hens or we may actually, <laughs> we may actually uh, accomplish something because we've been trying to work in a noodle day. I've been trying to work in a noodle video. So, uh, yeah, maybe we will work on that together or maybe we'll just cackle with some coffee <laughs> not sure yet but we do need to get to work we do and guys like obviously this is coming out go go check out the main channel um we do have a video coming out today and then tonight is 2 p.m tonight is our homestead hangout mm -hmm. um so that'll start if you guys, you know, hopefully most of you are already following along with the whole lineup, but mm -hmm. it starts at Gillum Farms at 5 Central, and then we're on right after Gillum's for an hour, and then at 7 is Ginger and Joey, not for nothing, Homestead, and then 8 o'clock is Dale and Lisa at Nine Acre Family Farms. Mm -hmm. um, all amazing people, and we are so blessed to be able to call them our, our friends, friends and mm -hmm. be part of the tribe. Um, it has been an amazing journey, and they are part of the original group, mm -hmm. you know, that really... We kind of met all we last year met at Tengular. It all kind of kicked off around the same, yeah. uh, the same time, kind of growing together, which has been amazing. So yeah, we were like the new kids on the block. Yeah, um, but it's been an amazing time, and yeah. we're enjoying it. And it it's still like I guess I say it in past tense, but no, it's still it's an awesome time. We enjoy and look forward to our Thursdays. So hopefully some of you guys, if you don't want to put any questions that you might have in the comments mm -hmm. of this, which feel free to, um, but also we'll be doing our live tonight and um, hopefully you guys will be yeah. there to support us and we can answer your questions live and yeah. live in action. And the other exciting thing that I, I think that we're going to be doing this next week is we're going to be moving over our Digging in the Word over to the coffee chat channel because it fits that a little bit better uh this is kind of our talky talky channel and uh we share a little bit more about faith we share a little bit more about us we share a little bit more about who we are and so we just felt that that is the place where it kind of really needed to be so uh you know it is considered a live so uh, that would put us on live on Mondays, but Mondays we, at seven yeah, central, and that's... we we may we may do lives eventually. But I see on this channel being more of like a pop up live, you know, like say I'm up at six a.m. Okay, that's a lie because I get up at like four thirty. But say around six when I'm ready to be like, hey, I'm ready to do something, and my handsome man's still sleeping, I'll just maybe do a pop up live for anybody that's already awake having coffee and we can just sit like we're sitting around the table. That's something I thought of too. How fun would that be? Six, eight, that doesn't sound fun at all. I'm still sleeping. Well, if you're up and you think that that would be really cool to do like pop up lives and have our coffees together. I'm sure we've let gotten- Let me know in the comments. We've gotten comments. There's a lot of people that are like to get up before the chickens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. But, all right. We're going to end this here, folks. Thank you again for being here. We appreciate you. And we're going to get to work. Peace out. See ya.